you have a bag that contains 10 red balls, 20 green balls and 30 blue balls. You remove balls one at a time until there are no balls left. What's the probability that there's at least one blue ball and at least one green ball remaining when you take the last red ball? So what we're saying here is if we take all of the balls out of the bag and put them in a line, we need there to be at least a blue ball and a green ball left after we get this final red ball. It might be tempting to think of this as a problem from the beginning and to start thinking about a tree diagram where you have red, green or blue for the first ball and then it branches off into the second ball uh, and so on. But we're actually a lot better off thinking about this problem in reverse. Removing all of the balls one at a time until there are no balls left is equivalent to just finding an ordering of all of the 60 balls. So it doesn't really matter which order we choose them in, we could just as easily think about taking the final ball first and then the second to last ball and then the third to last ball and that's how we're going to do it here. So we're going to imagine the last ball is the first one that we choose and the second to last one is the second ball we choose and so on. Now the equivalent way of phrasing this problem working backwards is to say what is the probability that there is at least one blue ball and one green ball before we get the first red ball? Because if you think about it in this reverse problem if there's at least one blue ball and one green ball before we get to that first red ball, that means in the forward problem there would be at least one blue ball and one green ball left after we've taken the final red ball, which is what we want. So the probability that the first ball is red is 10 sixtieths, the probability it's blue is 30 sixtieths, and the probability it's green is 2 sixtieths, they simplify down to 1 sixth, 1 half and 1 third. Now let's suppose that that first ball is actually a green ball and think about the rest of the tree diagram from here. Key simplification is that there may now be more green balls after that first green ball but effectively we can ignore them because all we're interested in is knowing whether the next ball that is not green is red or blue. If it's blue then it satisfies the condition and if it's red then it doesn't. We want to make sure there's at least one blue ball before the next red ball and we will ignore any further green balls that come up. So given that that first ball is green, the probability that we see a blue ball before we see a red ball is just 30 out divided by 30 plus 10, the number of blue balls divided by the number of blue balls plus red balls. So that's three quarters, and the probability we get a red ball before we get a blue ball will be 10 over 30 plus 10, that's 10 fourths or one quarter. Similarly, if the first ball is a blue ball, we might get some more blue balls before we see or a green or a red, but all we're interested in at this point is whether the next ball that's not blue is green or red. So the probability we see a green ball before a red ball in that situation is 20 out of 20 plus 10, or 20 over 30, which is two thirds, and the probability we see a red ball before a green ball is 10 divided by 20 plus 10, or 10 thirtieths, or one third. Of course, if we get a red ball first, then that's game over immediately, so we don't need to consider that path. So going back to the question, what's the probability there's at least one blue ball and one green ball before the first red ball? We've got the two different ways this can happen now. We either get a blue ball first, and then we get a green ball somewhere before a red ball. That would have probability one half times two thirds. Uh, or we could have a green ball first, and then we get a blue ball before we see a red ball. That's got probability one third times three quarters. So the answer to this problem is one half times one third plus one third times three quarters. That simplifies down to one third plus one quarter, which is seven twelfths.